Lithuanian multi-part songs, Sutertinis, is a unique phenomenon of Lithuanian intangible cultural heritage. The name derives from the Lithuanian verb suterti, to accord, to sound in harmony. Sutertinis is a syncretic art interlinking music, words and movements. Sutertinis have localized in the northeastern part of Lithuania. Recently, the group singing tradition in villages became nearly extinct. It's only in the community of Lesdine and Adutishkis villages that continues it in its traditional form. Most of Sutertinis were recorded at the beginning of the 20th century, while at the end of it, just a few old singers could recall them. The rebirth of Sutertinis began in the 60s of the 20th century in the city of Vilnius. Presently, over 40 urban communities foster Sutertinis performing tradition. They are performed in biggest Lithuanian cities, and especially it is admired in Oksteitija, the initial region of their concentration. Sutertinis are often performed in festivals, celebrations and concerts. From olden times, Sutertinis were mostly performed by women. <laughs> There are three main categories of sutertinis, twosomes, threesomes and foursomes, depending on a number of performers and the style of performance. Nearly 40 different performing styles are known. Sutertinis are very distinct in comparison to continuous songs in many features. Sutertinis distinguish for the richness of imitative refrains. Tuto, tatato, lingo, duno. At the same time, not only two different melodies, but also two different sets of lyrics are interlaced in performing Sutertinis. One main feature is the abundance of sharp dissonant seconds which were highly pleased by old performers. The beating of voices reminded them the ring of bells. The admiration for sharp dissonances is especially heard in old recordings. Sutertinis are not only chanted, but also performed on various instruments. Wood trumpets, dodites, horns, and five strings of the kanklis. The instrumental music was exceptionally men's activity. Sutertinis played on panpipes were especially admired. Each pipe gives a single sound. <laughs> The sounding of panpipes, the tooting of horns, used to be greatly impressive. Women aimed to chant in such a way to achieve the sounding of instruments. The meaning of a folk term tutuati, to toot, was not only to chant and to trumpet sutertinis, but also to dance. Choreography is uncomplicated and movements are moderate, often solemn, circle walking, turning round 
in form of a star with arms linked. Most of danced sutertinis are performed in fast tempo, stressing the rhythm by stamping, sometimes even by limping. Sometimes movements are used to reflect the content of the lyrics. Edita Meshkotieni comes from a famous dynasty of Sutertinis performers. Having taken the tradition from her mother Emilia Kuzavinieni, she has transmitted it not only to her children and grandchildren, but also to several communities of performers. <laughs> young people become interested in Sutertinis. Various workshops on performing Sutertinis, uh, creative camps are held, new communities are forming and trying to learn this complicated performing tradition, still quite unusual for foreigners. Some groups, having already mastered the secrets of traditional chanting, search for various forms of interaction with other arts. The music of Sutertinis, sharp dissonances, awkward and at the same time monotonic rhythmic, a minimal set of sounds, is a bridge to the modern world of creation. Keeping the initial ritual basis, hidden within the archaic melodics and poetics, and solemnness, are essential in performing Sotertines. Sotertines have become the self of not only small communities of their performers, but also the symbol of Lithuanian national and cultural identity. Oh,